Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five shadow infographic effects in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the option one where you can see a circle has been created. And this is uh, blending with the background. Then the option two will come, option three, option four, and the last is option six. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the slide background color to uh, a gray color. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. And shape outline, make it no outline, right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. The first I'm going to select the color which I have used for the background and this side I'm going to add one more stop and I'm going to use some a light a white color and here also I'm going to select the same background which we have used and I'm going to add one more light color background or the color effect. So just bring it somewhat. So we end up with this shape. Then I'm going to insert one oval shape for the shadow effect. Draw the oval shape and align center, align middle. And I'm going to cut, cut this uh, circle into half. For that go to insert shapes, select a rectangle and select exactly the half circle. Then you can select the circle and then the rectangle under format go to merge shape say subtract. So you end up with the semicircle here shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give a gradient fill. So I'm not going to use the same so I'm just going to remove two stops so first stop I'm going to make it a black color and change the direction like this and then position two I'm going to use the same background color and transparency level I'll make it to 100% and this also you can increase the transparency a little bit and then you can go to the effects soft edges increase the size maybe something like this and put it here reduce the size and then say send to back so you end up with this shape you can see the the shadow effect now clearly now once this is done I'm just going to add one more oval shape to add the options here number one number two so I'm just going to make it no outline and I'm going to give a shadow effect of say this one and you can increase the distance and if you want to change the angle also you can change the angle and give more blur effect then add a number there I will say 0 1 or you can say A B C D also I will give the font as Oswald center aligned increase the size a little bit and put it at the center and white text then you can add a title here for that I'm going to add one more text I'll just say data 01 same font Oswald reduce the size and put it here and if you want to change the background color also you can change to any color within the circle maybe I'm going to select 
uh, this green color and this color also I'm going to select the same green color and then you can add your text here reduce the size make it a gray color and align properly now once this is done select all this and press ctrl G to group it and align it at the center then press ctrl D again put it the other side then add one more in the center align properly in the center and then say send to back then I'm going to select these two options again press ctrl D to duplicate and add it at the bottom and this also just say send to back so you end up with this design you can select all and put it in the middle change the numbers to this will be 3 4 and 5 and the colors you can change according to your own maybe I'll select this color for this I'm going to select orange I will select maybe pink and I'm going to select maybe a uh, purple and then likewise you have to change the color of the text also to match with the circle for this a uh, blue will come this will be orange this will be pink and this will be purple and then you change this also 0 2 0 3 4 and 5 and lastly I'm going to give some animation for this go to animations enable the animation pane select this animation just say wipe and wipe say from left then using the animation painter I'm going to paint the animation effect to all double click the animation painter click on this then this the fourth and the last which is fifth and just change the direction this should start from right this should start from top and this also should start from sorry right now if you see the animation so when I click it will show me the data 1 then data 2 data 3 4 and 5 so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my channel PowerPoint University that's it from me friends Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.